What up folks, I'm Walters and today I have a review of the Boss Fight Studios Popeye Classics. Popeye, now this box is open and forgive me for that. Because I already opened it and I have a look-see at Popeye. It's a really nice box though. This has this down, sorry. Uh, very, very, very cool box. I got this on Amazon for $19.99, which is 15 bucks less than some other places have it. So if you're looking for the full Wave 01, they have it on there. And it's a cool box, and I love Popeye, uh, but do I love the figure? Hmm, without further ado, let's get to that review. And there's Popeye out of the package, but before we got to him, let's look at all the accessories. We get an alternate head, which looks pretty, pretty cool. The difference here is his mouth is closed. So that looks pretty cool. You see his little hair. I never dug his hair, but you know, he's got it. And uh, it looks good enough. Everything is very clean. It's very glossy though, I'll have to say that. Everything is very glossy about this guy, the skin color. Uh, and then the clothes are very matte. It's very interesting. Um, but I like it. I like the head. I think that looks pretty good. He gets two extra pairs of hands, two open hands, and two fist hands to go along with his two holding hands, which he will need for his can of spinach, which looks really good. It's crushed, it's silver, and the spinach is done in green. It's very, very nicely done. And holding the spinach is easy peasy. Equally easy peasy is swapping out the hands, and uh, they look good. And hey, real quick, his uh, pipe is also removable, but that's a little scary. <laughs> I'd rather not be removable, um, in a way, because I, I'm scared I'm going to lose it. So, you know, you could turn it, too, so you could do all kinds of interesting things and fun things with Popeye in those regards. His last accessory is his hat, which unfortunately does not stay on his head very well. And I feel like it's kind of, you know, as you try to put it on, that's happening to his hair. Little scratches there. Or it's paint coming off here. I don't I don't think it is. I think this is white with just some black paint. Um, but yeah. Oh, that's staying on. So it depends on how... Uh, no, it's just... <laughs> it's just hanging. Barely hanging on. There is a hole right there. So I don't know if you're supposed to... How it goes. I'm guessing so. Yeah. I guess that's how it goes. But it, it could be better. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that. Because again... I do have some some of the paint scratching off here, apparently, or something. I'll check that out further now, but yeah, I don't like it either way. Honestly, I think it's the plastic kind of breaking a little bit. And you can see the paint scratching and then breaking off a little bit. It's a bummer. Um, the hair looks pretty good, except for that. Again, you know, don't love the style, but you know, it is what it is. It's, it is Popeye, so... <laughs> This guy, he's got his uh, map a little bit open, as much as Popeye would open it. Uh, and he's got some, like, nice little gridded-looking teeth, which is nice. I like the very cartoon-like style. The pipe looks good, and all the line work is very nice on the head sculpt. So, his chin is great, his nose is great. Very, very cool. You know, he's got a skinny neck, which is accurate. His collar looks really good. The black line is very clean. The buttons look decent enough. The belt looks pretty good. Very simple shape to the body. He's a little bit hunched, which is good. It works. The back here looks really nice. Sleeves are done in white. Then he's got his tattoos, little anchors. They're very cleanly done. You saw the belt. The pants have a little wrinklage at the top, which is good. Some nice little bell bottoms, some wrinklage in the back. All cuffed up looks pretty good and uh then the feet look very nicely done you know you got some little like rivets down there and stuff so yeah you know the shape is pretty decent enough i, I do think it works as popeye for sure it is not bad and for articulation this is where this figure scares me a little but not the head the head is pretty decent you know, you gotta do a lot of stuff. But then the shoulders start the scariness. They d feel very fragile to me, um, which is a bit scary. You can rotate the elbows and then you have the deep hinge. But again, I, I'm scared of that in there. 
The wrists just move around like so. The body moves around like so. The legs can go that much wide and then kicks forward and back. Slight rotation in there. The knees, again, little scary. Not as much, but and then you could kind of rock the foot a little bit but uh, and rotate it a bit. So it's not like, you know, the greatest articulation. I'm a little scared of the joints in the shoulders and uh, the elbows. <sighs> yeah, that's it's a bit scary. Um, so I don't know. That kind of scares me a little. And I don't <laughs> love, uh, you know, the hat thing. So with scratching of the hair. A couple of big bummers there for me, uh, to be honest. But... Um, and the skin tone is very strange. I know I'm a little all over, but I do like his elbows. I don't think I mentioned that. Again, a little bit all over here, mixing and matching. Um, but uh, I'm looking for like this. You know, overall, the style is really nice. They, they did nail that. So I'm not sure. I don't know. We'll see. And for your size comparisons, here's Popeye with a bunch of other figures that you might have in your collection, including Boss Fight's own The Lucha Brothers who kind of spoiled me, uh, honestly. I expected Popeye to be of their quality, and unfortunately, I gotta say, I don't feel like it's up to that, you know, quality of figure. It's a, Those figures are excellent. Some of my favorite figures, period. Um, but both the size of this Popeye, who is obviously kind of small, um, and the, pr the original price, just, you know, when you put those together, that really throws me off. I just, I don't feel like this is a $35 figure, unfortunately. Um, you know, I'm really glad I got it for 20 bucks to check out, but even at 20 bucks, I'm a little, little, I don't know. I'm a little thrown off, I, I gotta say, because the Lucha Brothers was just so, so good. Well, blow me down, uh, because my final thoughts on this are, I'm gonna have to say, not that great. I don't love the arms, I'm really scared of them. And I don't like the hat, you know, going on the head. And I, I'm not a big fan of him without the hat like this. So, for me, I think it's a pass. Um, you know, I really was spoiled by the Lucha Brothers from Boss Fight. And I was hoping this figure was going to be like that. And I'm just not feeling it, guys. Your mileage is going to vary. But if you're going to get it, get him on Amazon. 20 bucks is a lot better than 35 bucks. Again, I, I hate to harp on this, but I don't feel like this is a twenty this is a thirty-five dollar figure. For twenty bucks with all the accessories, yes, definitely. Um, but thirty-five uh, for the size of the figure and for a couple qualms I have, mm, I, I wouldn't do it. Uh, so it is what it is. Uh, you know, I don't think I'm gonna get Bluto now, unfortunately. Uh, I did want to get them both, but I think I'm one and done here. It is what it is, you know, can't win them all. Um, so, there you go. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peace.